Was Jesus really in India? Let's analyze. In Chaturyoga Khanda, Dviti Adhyaya of Bhavishya Purana, 19th chapter from verses 17 to 32, this is what is written. So Shalivahana, who is the grandson of Vikramaditya, defeated many kingdoms that included Chinese and even Romans and even the descendants of Kuru. After defeating everyone, Shalivahana went on to create a country across the Sindhu river. Interestingly, he named it Sindhustanam. This separate country was separated from Melichas, that is barbarians where Jesus came from. Keeping in mind that Shalivahana's time period was around 78 CE and it was called as Shaka era. A fun fact is that the story of Shalivahana can be found in the ancient text known as Udpata Kavya, written somewhere around 1222 CE. During his travel to Himatunga, Hunadesha, which is somewhere around Himachal, Kashmir and Himalayas, he met a holy man with golden complexion. During the conversation, the holy man tells Shalivahana that he is Isa Putra, the son of God. He also says that he is Kumara Garba Sambhavam, which means born of a virgin. The following texts have conversations between Shalivahana and Isa Putra. And during that conversation, Isa Putra says, Isa Masiha Iticha Mama Nama Pratishtitam means he is called as Isa Masiha. Interestingly, Isa Masiha is a Hebrew term used for Jewish saints and Jesus is called as Isa Al Masiha in the Quran. In the New Testament, the word Masiha can be found for Jesus Christ. So going back to the story of Jesus, he was murdered but rose from the dead. But what happened after he rose from the dead? The conversations between Shalivahana and Jesus clearly says that it is after he rose from the dead because he uses past tense to describe himself as Isa Masiha. The Bhavishya Purana says only this. But I have something more interesting to tell you. Rosa Bal in Srinagar, Kashmir is an ancient mosque which has a small tomb known as Yuz Asaf which is derived from the word Yusu or Yesahu or Jesus. Yus Asaf is also referred to as the son of Joseph. The tomb also contains a rock carving that is said to show the feet bearing crucifixion wounds and the body is buried according to Jewish traditions and not Islamic. So that confirms that Jesus came to India after crucifixion and died in the great land of India. Oh, by the way, Bhavishya Purana also talks about Prophet Muhammad. If you want to know about it, comment it below.